Hi, hello. Today's problem is write a code to generate OTP. Uh, in general, right, there are many use cases where we do transactions uh, and OTP is generated and sent to your mobile number, right? How to generate OTP? So this is one of the simplest question we may face in the interviews. So for this, right, we will go with mat.random method to generate OTP. Let's start with our coding. So I'm going to write a private static method which generates OTP. It returns an integer. So it's not going to take any input. For now, I just kept written as input to avoid the errors, red lines. So now we are going to use math.random. So this method, basically, like if you look into the help document, it returns you a number, which is a decimal float, double variable, between 0, 0.0 and 1.0. So basically you're going to get anything like uh, something like 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 uh, kind of a double thing, right? Uh, that we will multiply with 1 lakh or 10 lakh so that it returns as, it try to returns as in the form of 5 digit or 6 digit number which in turn we can use it as an OTP. So which generates a random and we multiply that with lakh or 10 lakhs and store it in an integer basically it is a double we need a type casting to int and this we are going to return all we are going to do is calling this method So now let's print, let's run the program. Oh, there is some, okay. Now, yep, let's run once again. Every time you run, you will get different number. In your coding, anytime you need to generate the OTP, you can call this method, store it as part of your user transaction and send to the user and validate when user resubmit to you. That's it. Very simple. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.